Thank you very much. I understand that as, as a last speaker, I should be brief. I try to be very brief. First of all, thank you very much, Qualivita. Thank you, Mauro, for an invitation. And uh, I would like to add that uh, it was our pleasure to have a possibility to add this conference to the official calendar of uh, the Polish presidency. During my speech, I would like to concentrate on the formation uh, Polish sector, Polish quality schemes, and, uh, importance of uh, quality schemes for a Polish agriculture sector, European policy, and on the end, I would like to say a few words uh, about uh, mm, legislation process on the quality schemes. Agriculture plays in uh, Poland a very important uh, role. We are also important European producer of uh, agriculture products. On the slide, you can see uh, uh, examples of the products and their position uh, in EU. We are also important producer of uh, berries and outdoor vegetables. What is important is that in Poland we've got 1.5 million farms with average size around 10 hectares. In the west part of Poland, we've got big farms with a large scale of production. In the, south, in the south and east part of Poland, we've got small farms which are very often located in the less favored area. And especially for those farms, European quality policy is, is very important. Plays a very important role. So far, we've sent uh, 36 applications to the Commission. Uh, six commission registered as a PDO, 17 as a GI, and uh, nine as a traditional specialty guaranteed. This is a last category. It's uh, really important for Poland, but I think that's also for uh, other countries from our region. And we are happy that we are able to defend this category uh, during legislation process on uh, uh, quality schemes. In Poland, we've got also our national uh, measure list of traditional products. It, it helps us uh, to identify traditional products uh, which are part of our culinary heritage. And we are able to identify over 1,000 products. I'm aware that uh, all of them won't be able to participate in EU scheme, but this presents potential in that sector in Poland. We've got also over 23,000 farms in organic production, and this uh, quantity is raising uh, around 25% every year. What's important, EU quality policy, uh, it's available for Poland since our accession, that's been for seven years. This is a new policy in Poland. That's why support is a very important issue, support for farmers to encourage them to participate in the, in the quality schemes. In Poland, we've got two sources. First source is a rural development program uh, with two measures. First, allow, allow us uh, to refund cost of certification, and the second one, uh, refund 70% of cost of promotion. And the second source is that uh, Regulation 3 uh, from 2008 concerning promotion measures. When in 2005, we organized information campaign according to this second source, during two years' campaign, our producers were able to prepare over 50% of whole applications which we uh, sent so far to the Commission. This shows how information and promotion activities can help in development of that sector. But we are aware that recognition of uh, EU schemes, EU symbols, in Poland, but I think in other countries, is still on the low, low position. It was confirmed in the special report issued by the European Court of Justice a few days ago that uh, recognition of, uh, of this GI system in Europe is still very low. And maybe I read a uh, recommendation from that report. The court recommends that the Commission develops and unifies strategy addressing the lack of the awareness of the GI scheme. It should be explored more effective means of promoting 
in the GI scheme, such as running a campaign on its own initiative. And uh, I think that's a very important recommendation. I agree with this. Such a European strategy for that sector would be very useful. Yesterday, we talked a lot about, about promotion. If you want to raise consumer awareness and confidence, you have to maintain promotion actions. That time is the right time to talk about promotion. We've got green paper on uh, uh, promotion measures. Uh, we've got discussion about future CAP. We should ensure funds for a future promotion actions to keep, uh, to raise consumer awareness on that issue. Second thing, very important thing, uh, it's a credibility of the system. It's also presented in that report and examples which shouldn't happen, but they did. And if you wanna keep credibility of the system, we have to keep quality, we have to keep controls on the highest possible level to avoid such a situations. So two pillars, promotion, funds for promotion, and the credibility of the system. Now I'd like, I would like to go to the quality package and I would like to concentrate on the uh, quality schemes, uh, uh, inform you where we are with the uh, legislation proce process on uh, that uh, issue. We've got, we already had uh, two trilogues uh, and we've still got with Parliament uh, a few discrepancies. Uh, like uh, package on op optional quality terms, use symbol, role of uh, group on the man and the management of production, definition traditional 25 or, or 50 years, and the position procedure. Two main issues, quality, optional quality terms. This presidential uh, package allows uh, to register horizontal uh, quality terms, allows to register mountain product, and also possibility to register island products and uh, uh, local farming based on the uh, commission report. Commission uh, Parliament cannot accept our approach uh, to uh, add new quality terms through the delegated acts. We think that this is a useful, useful measure and uh, we'll see how uh, was, was gonna be in the future. We try to convince uh, Parliament to our position. And the last thing, it's a role of group and management of production. Yesterday we had a huge discussion about that issue. I heard many opinions uh, and I can say that we've got uh, extremely difficult situation as a presidency in that issue. Because on one hand we understand uh, uh, all arguments presented yesterday. On the other hand, uh, the council level, we still got big, big majority which cannot accept that, that, that amendment. But, but, there is always but, uh, milk package. As we heard yesterday, it's possible to uh, reach an agreement on that uh, milk package which also include management of production of cheeses. If it's gonna be possible, and I do hope that soon it's, it's gonna be possible. That would uh, be possible to make a progress also on that issue uh, in quality schemes. Still a lot of work in front of us. And on the end, I would like to uh, say again, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Qualivita, for your contribution to European quality policy. Thank you very much.